Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number 30 of exercise 5.2. And the question says how many three digits numbers are divisible by 7? So now let's first of all make a series of three digit numbers which are divisible by 7. So now what is the first number that is divisible by 7? So if I consider this is the first three digit number and if I divide this by 7, so this is 7, 1 times 7 and 3 will be. So to make this divisible by 7, obviously I have to add. So if this number is 35, so obviously this will be cancelled completely means there is 5 less in 100. So if I increase this 100 by 5, so that will be the first number which is divisible by 7. So 105. So if instead of this, if this is the 5, so this will be completely divisible by 7. So this is the first three digit number which is divisible by 7. And obviously the next number will be 7 more. So this will be 112 and 119 and so on. So this would be the first term, this would be the second term, this would be the third term and so on. And the last term, either you can count the number of terms in this series and the last term of this series obviously will be 994. This is again I have calculated using the same method. So I consider a four digit number. So I divide this by 7, so 7, 1, 7 times 30, 7, 28 and 2 and 7, 2 is a 14. So 6 is extra here because 6 is the remainder. So if I sub subtract 6 from this, so there will be no extra. So obviously this number will be completely divisible by 7. So if I subtract 6 from 1000, so 994 will be the last number in this series which is divisible by 7. So the first method is to you have to you can count these numbers till 994 and you will get how many numbers there are which is divisible by 7 or in other words if we look this series closely what we find is that this is a classic example of arithmetic progression where this is the first term and to make the second term, you are adding a constant to this, which is plus 7. And again, plus 7 and plus 7, plus 7, plus 7. And you have to find how many terms are there in this AP if its last term is 994. And how to find its nth term? For that, we have a formula that a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is the formula we are going to use directly in this question and we will get our answer. So nth term in this case which is the last term is given to you as 994 and the first term in this AP is given to you as 105. The number of terms you have to find out and the common difference is 7 because you are adding 7 and you are getting your terms of this AP or we know that if you want to find the common difference, you have to subtract first term from the second term. So the second term is 1112 and the first term is 105. So obviously the common difference will be equals to 7. So solving this, this term can be shifted here. This plus will become minus and I can open this bracket for that I have to multiply 7 with both the terms. Now this plus minus is minus, so 4 minus 5 is 9, 8, 8 equals to 7 and minus 7. So 7 and this constant again can be shifted to this side. So this will be plus 7 because negative and shifted to this side will become positive and this will be 7, 7, 14, 9, 8 equals to 7 n. Now if you want to find the value of n, I have to divide 894 by 7 because the 7 when shifted to this side should divide. So this can be cancelled 1 times 